Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is crystallization. In this video, we will discuss about solubility curve. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel which is Chemical Edda. So let's see questions. What is the solubility curve? So, a graphical relationship between the solubility of a solute and temperature is termed as the solubility curve. From solubility curve, we can determine the concentration necessary for crystal formation. In this curves, the solubility of a solute is plotted as a function of temperature. That means a graph of solubilities on y-axis against the temperature on x-axis is plotted. It shows the effect of temperature on the solubility of the solute. So solubility curves have no general shape or slope. Because as we know, the solubility of solutes in a given solvent may increase with temperature, may decrease with temperature, or remains more or less constant with temperature. That's why solubility curves have no general shape or slope. In this figure, we can see solubility curves of potassium chlorate, that is curve 1, and solubility curves of sodium chloride, that is curve 2, are continuous solubility curves, as they show no sharp breaks anywhere. But in case of potassium chlorate, the solubility increases with temperature. So, it can be readily crystallized by cooling its saturated solution. Next, the solubility of sodium chloride in water is almost independent of temperature. Hence, due to this, a slight increase in the solubility can be obtained by a large increase in temperature. Hence, for crystallization to occur, some of the solvent should be evaporated but sometimes, the solubility curve exhibits sudden changes of direction. And these curves are therefore referred to as discontinuous solubility curves. Example, solubility curve of FASO4, that is curve 3. And for some substances, their solubility decreases with an increase in temperature. And in such cases, their solubility curves are called as inverted solubility curves. Example solubility curve of MnSO4, H2O. But usually, an increase in the temperature of the solution increases the solubility of the solute. When no true compounds are formed between the solute and solvent, just like potassium chlorate. And in some cases, the solubility of hydrated salt increases with an increase in temperature over a certain temperature range and then decreases. An example of this is ferrous sulfate that is FASO4. So, this is all about the solubility curve. In the next video, we will discuss another set of questions. If you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel which is Chemical Edda.